Oh, you're running. How dare you? You can't run. Oh, nice. Oh, am I being shot? Where am I being shot from? Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Freeman. And we have a couple of level ups right here. And uh, yeah, apparently, according to one of you, the companion thing that apparently happens when you equip your companion with some with some stuff apparently and then she just disappears so I'm not entirely sure what's going on there but obviously this is just a test version just a preview of what is to come and obviously these things are meant to be ironed out as we play so shouldn't be any problems there anyway we are done advancing our forces and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna level up leadership I know, it's crazy, right? Yeah, I don't really want to level up leadership because personally, I would prefer to level up agility and stuff like that, but I, if I want to have more more units, you know, to actually use in combat, then this is going to be basically the only thing I can do to make that happen. And we're going to equip these guys here. There we go. And that's basically what I can do right now. I'm going to make a new squad if I get a couple more recruits. But for now, we're just going to leave it like that. And all these other fellows are perfectly fine. We're just going to level them up a little bit. Just give them some slight upgrades. Because this is not that much money. And hopefully it's going to give them just that little boost that they need to be a little bit more effective in combat. And then we're going to see them actually getting kills and advancing in level much, much faster. I mean, yeah, obviously me doing this like three, four, five times, it's going to drain my resources pretty fast. But if I have everyone at a pretty high and decent level, then I think we should be really good, you know? We should have a nice time of things. Okay. So otherwise, what we need to do is, I think my leadership is perfectly fine right now. Increases deployable squad number by one. That's actually also pretty cool. And otherwise, I think I'm going to go for agility. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm going a little bit heavy on the agility personally, but I actually really like it, so that's what I'm going to do. And shall we go for commanding? Increase the amount of unit you can deploy by 10. Yeah, let's go for another point in commanding, just to make us a little bit better in overall combat. So, to test this out, let's go and fight these looters. Do bear in mind that I still have not found... A, a pair of uh, a pair of night vision goggles unfortunately so yeah we're just gonna have to deal with it as it is and uh, I'm hopeful that I might be able to get a suppressor or maybe some kind of night vision scope or not a night vision scope just a, just a scope just any kind of regular scope for our for our SMG because I think at the moment right now I mean I personally don't find these iron sights that bad but according to some of you it's a little bit a little bit weird to watch and kind of hard to follow so I, I you know obviously I'm all about making sure that the viewing experience is gonna be as good as possible so I'm gonna try and find a red dot scope or something like that or red dot sight should I say because it's technically not a scope I guess but yeah anyway hopefully something like that will crop up I, I have seen a whole bunch of scopes but I haven't really seen anything that is kind of viable in my opinion at least for an SMG and you know obviously I'd like to have something that's kind of comfortable with it I don't really want to use a PKA scope or something which is just crazy to put on an SMG I mean unless you're super good which I'm, I'm meh not particularly at times at least so let's see if I can actually... Ah, there's the enemy. They're over there, fellows. Let's go this way. They're, they're right over there. I saw them. I saw them creeping into the bushes. And then we're just going to be like, Hey, you there in the bushes. And then someone else crops up behind us and is like, What? Me? And we're like, No, not you. Yes, exactly. That kind of thing. You have no idea what I'm talking about. But that's exactly what I'm all about because waffles. Yep. It's all about waffles. I mean, you've seen my squad names already, so you kind of know that I'm not really taking this that seriously, even though I absolutely love this game. I actually think this game is really awesome, and uh, I really have a, a huge amount of fun playing it, and even if I'm not exactly, you know, super good at it or anything, I really don't mind because it's just that much fun. And that's how you know a game is is really cool, because if, it, if you don't enjoy it in general, and even if you're bad at it, 
then, uh, you know, it's not really worth it. But if, you, if you're bad at it and you still enjoy it, that's how you know it's a good game. So, yeah, anyway. We are actually murdering them. Murdering them in more ways than one. This is, this is pretty good. I've spread out my units as well, as you can see. Because obviously we don't want our units getting clumped up and absolutely murdered by grenades. And now we're going to use our agility to run into the hail of bullets, as I always do. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Obviously I'm not going to do that. I'm going to attempt more flanking maneuvers here. I mean, I, ha I have actually been attempting to do more flanks. But sometimes it's a little bit difficult when they face toward you and they actually know you're coming. So, yeah, that's a bit of an issue. But I can actually fire at them from here. Oh, I got one. And uh, the other one. Oh, and I got the other one. Nice. That was actually kind of... Uh, that was kind of interesting because I could not see the guy. He actually ran past some trees and it was kind of difficult. Ah, there they are. Okay, so I'm going to tell my units just to charge straight on in at them now. And maybe I can get a couple more kills here. I, I'd really like to start leveling myself up a little bit quicker. But obviously, as said, I haven't really specced too much into intelligence. And intelligence in general is going to give you so much more benefit. So, personally, if, if you're playing this game for the first time, if you've just recently purchased it or whatever the case may be, then I'd highly recommend for your first playthrough or whatever, going for an intelligence build because it just makes everything so much easier. You know, you get you get first aid, you get medic skills, you get uh, you get more commander, more navigation. Basically, intelligence governs all the skills really, really well, and so that's the reason why I was like, yes, we need some agility agility skills as well because that seems to be missing some. So I think some agility skills like maybe dodge 25% chance for all five points in it would be really, really cool. And maybe some skills to improve melee speed or melee range or something like that. I don't know. I mean, obviously I'm not I'm not the developer here, so obviously I'm just spouting off ideas. And there's a, another pistol here. Okay, so we are just going to take... Let's see actually what I can take here. Well, obviously the tents are fantastic, as well as the tools, the walkie-talkies, the wire cutters. Ooh, nice boots. Actually, those boots might be better than what I'm currently wearing. So I'm going to see if I can equip those. And there's a bandit. Very nice indeed. And we do need another bandit, by the way, for our quest. There we go. We've completed one of the quests. We need to eliminate three bandit armies. Three bandit armies, and we've also captured one bandit. 50% complete. Very nice indeed. Okay, so let's go over here. Just make sure exactly what we're doing. Let's put another one there. Yeah, I need a scope. I need a suppressor as well. I need those night vision goggles. And um, yeah, I do need those shoes. My camouflage is actually through the roof right now. It's at 73 rating. And with this agility, that should equal, th well, 3% more each time. 21% increased camouflage so I think that's that's pretty awesome all right so instead of actually going into you know fighting another bandit party we're just gonna take stock here we're gonna go into Antipil we're gonna hand in our quest which I think is actually wait a minute never mind it's that's actually at Babin oh that's kind of amusing isn't it that is so amusing how every single time I'm like yes we need to go into Antipil to hand that in but no no it's actually not there Oh well, never mind. We can at least sell these things for a tidy profit. Very nice. Okay, so let's see if they actually have some suppressor or maybe a scope or something like that. They do. They do. They have a pistol silencer. They have a rifle silencer. Where's an SMG silencer? I don't know whether that is actually a thing. I'm going to buy it anyway. There's the red dot sight. Just so happens to be there. That's pretty awesome. And uh, I'm actually thinking, should I buy a new... SMG. I mean, the MPS-7 seems like a seems like a pretty nice weapon. It's got 40 damage. I'm not entirely sure if that's that's any good. But the muzzle velocity of the RPD-97 SMG is a lot better. Uh, that's if we want to go a little bit further range. Yeah, I think at the moment we're doing okay with our current weapons, so I don't really mind too much. We're just going to sell the rest of our stuff here. And sell the gasoline, sell the shoes, and there we go. All right. Okay, so let's take a look at our inventory here. Can we use the rifle silencer? I think we can. I mean, it's a rifle silencer. I don't, I, I don't know whether there is actually a separate thing that determines 
SMG silencer? I, I, I don't know. I really don't know. So we're just going to go with that and we'll see how it does. So let's go and attack this band of looters here because they actually do have a bandit in there as well. And we'll see if we can capture them successfully. That should be good. Alright, and we also get an opportunity to take a look. Oh, I should have leveled up my forces. Well, mm, there's just so many things to do. That's the thing. So many things to do and so little concentration from me. Ah, uh, yes. That's exactly what happens. Oh, well, never mind. At least we can just tell them to go in here and we can try out our silencer. Yes, it is actually working. Fantastic. It is working. This is great. Okay, so this is going to be even better because if we are able to flank our enemies and them not be able to see me, because obviously I'm camouflaged, you know, I've got a really, really awesome camouflage skill at the moment, then I think we actually could get away with killing quite a few enemies without them even noticing because of the suppressor, obviously, or silencer or whatever. So, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so now there's the enemies. They are over there. And I'm going to try and flank them by running into a bush, because that's what I do. Let's run into a bush. And I'm going to try and see if I can get around them. Now, obviously, this is during the daytime, so I don't know whether that really affects the AI's vision range. But if it does, then obviously they're going to be able to see me doing this. But I am walking through some bushes here, which is going to be pretty difficult for them to see. Wow, this is kind of risky. There's 11 of them still alive. 10 now. 9. 8. Okay. Yeah, I probably need to make my way over here a little bit quicker, don't I? Oh, you're running! How dare you! You can't run! Oh, nice. Oh, am I being shot? Where am I being shot from? Oh, well, never mind. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Apparently they all ran away. Well, I got two kills, and they didn't really see me up until the very end, so I suppose that's... Yeah, I suppose it's going okay. I mean, you know, there's only so many ways you can get close to enemies in this game. Because there doesn't seem to be that much cover, with the exception of trees. So if the enemies are in a tree line, you're going to be in a really good spot. But if they're not, then obviously you're going to have to take a couple of risks. Which is sometimes not great. And I'm, I'm very much looking forward to the urban warfare maps as well. Because obviously, I, I would assume that's probably going to come at some point. Having some urban maps where there's some buildings and you can hide in the buildings, outside the buildings, all around the buildings, you know. We love buildings, don't we? Yeah, we love buildings. Oh well, never mind. Okay, so yes, what we're going to do now is we're going to level up our forces. Oh, <laughs> this is going to bankrupt me. It seriously is. Another bandit leader. Those bandit leaders are fantastic. I'm going to level this guy up a little bit more. He's got an AKM? He really has an AKM? Wow, that's actually really good equipment for them. That's nice. Okay, so this guy's also leveled up. And we have a bunch of level ups here. FCA Grenadier, ARF Veteran. Oh yeah, we got some Spec Ops guys. And these are the maximum level. These are the maximum level for the ARF. And you can see already that they have two separate weapons available to them. One has an AR-41 and the other one has a SCAR variant, basically. And that is... Ooh, that's going to be deadly. It's going to be so deadly. Okay, unfortunately I wasn't able to capture any of those bandits here, which is a shame, but can't really do much about that. Night vision goggles, yes. Give me these things, thank you. Wow, they're actually, the, the merchants are actually being very, very lucky for me at the moment. That's cool. Okay, so let's just pay that. And I think I need one more bandit army for the other... Ah, does it not count? All oh, right. Okay, so I think what's actually going on here is that if you have one of these quests, it's not going to count for the other one. Aha. Okay, I was unaware of that. Maybe that could be something the devs could look into because obviously, uh, you know, if you have multiple quests, then it would only kind of kind of stand to reason that you'd get credit for you know, both quests, right? You know, I mean, when you're playing an MMORPG or something like that, then you're killing, you know, random X mob here, and you have to pick up something from that mob as well, then obviously both quests are going to count. But uh, I, I get that the quest system is actually a new addition, by the way. This quest system is new, so 
obviously there's going to be tweaks that can be made to it. And that's exactly what I really, really enjoy about Freeman so far. Even if the save games do become incompatible, even if that happens, I really don't mind starting over because it's just such a, such a fun experience to just start over and just get that get 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 you know get those get the money rolling in get the recruits that you really really want get that awesome weapon that you've been looking for and you know just start to gain power and become even better over time i think that's really awesome anyway there you go we've handed that in at least there's another contract board ah oh, we can capture 5 looters for 10,000 i'm going to accept that I'm going to accept that like a shot. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's see if there's anyone around here that I can actually fight. What? Who's these guys? Doesn't seem like there's any tooltip for those guys. So I don't really want to fight them. I wouldn't mind fighting the 53. Yeah, that's me. I fight a lot of people, apparently. Okay, I'm just going to reward our forces here before we go in. Should we literally go in against 53? That, that doesn't... I don't know. I don't know. Shall we? Shall we do it? I don't know whether I can now because they're right up against the water. No, it seems like we can't. Okay, that's that's a bit weird. Okay, that's a bit weird. Never mind. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna just go after these guys instead. Then there's there's 22 of them. They're still outnumbering us by a slight margin, and we do have the opportunity to then capture more looters, which is very very good. Alright, so let's tell them to go across here. This is going to be a really, really good positioning for us because the enemies should be moving right into us from our angle of attack here. So if we can get over there in time, before the enemies show themselves, we should be in a great spot. So I'm going to actually just tell our people to cease fire here as well so that they don't stop and shoot, you know, along the way. And then... You know, if I see the enemy, then we'll tell them to fire at will. And I just need to remind myself to actually tell them to fire at will. Ah, there's the enemy. We can already see them. They're already right over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this back here and just spread our units out just a little bit. And I'm going to tell our people to charge in here. And we're just going to tell them to fire at will so that we can lay down some covering fire. And... Just tell them to spread out a little bit more, thank you very much. Don't really want them to get absolutely murdered by one grenade, do we? So yeah, now we can tell them to proceed with caution. There we go. Alright, so you can see all the enemies just absolutely falling before us right here. I wouldn't be surprised if we win this in about five seconds now, because all of the, you know, all the rest of them are most likely going to have their morale drop like a stone. And, uh, yeah, it, it, well, apparently it's not. <laughs> apparently it's not. They're just like, Larry, no! And, uh, yeah, then, well, Larry's actually still fine. He's, he's absolutely fine. Don't worry about it. But, yeah, you know what I mean. It's that kind of thing. All right. Well, let's see if we can flank them a little bit here. I'd love to be able to flank them because it's been a while since my axe has tasted blood. Uh, well, there's a bandit death for you. Okay, I am being shot by this guy. I don't appreciate it. Don't appreciate it either. Looter. There we go. Wow. I, you know what? I gotta say that this is actually a really, really fun way to play. Because even though I'm going in there and I'm risking basically everything. Because if, you, you know, if I'm up against, let's say, 54 units. Then uh, doing this kind of thing is extremely, extremely risky and can result in an utter devastating loss. But on the other hand, it's so fun. It just really is so fun to do that. Wow. Yeah, I think what we're going to have to do is we're literally going to have to fight one of those bigger bandit parties. I actually did level up. Oh, fantastic. That's that's pretty cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do... Should I do another two points in agility? Should I do it? Ah... Uh, I really want to, but I'm actually going to do one point in agility and another point in leadership just to make sure that we have enough space for units if we ever want to take a couple more on board. And I'm actually going to take some first aid here. Let's level up our SMG. 
and put on our night vision goggles. It's not night time yet, so that's the reason why I didn't put them on just yet, but there you go. All right, so that will be it for this episode. Next time, we're going to try and find a larger bandit party to fight, and we're going to see if my tactics and my maneuvering still work. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.